Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Governor Jerry Brown on Tuesday proposed a plan that could dramatically ease the potential wildfire-related financial burdens on large utilities such as PG&E by potentially shoveling more costs onto ratepayers' shoulders. A growing threat from destructive wildfires is driving efforts by the governor and some state lawmakers to improve firefighting techniques and forest management and to craft a fresh legal approach to the enormous potential liabilities confronting power giants in California. The moves follow the deadly wildfires that scorched the North Bay wine country and nearby regions in October 2017, many of which were sparked by downed power lines and malfunctioning equipment. In a letter to legislators, Brown argued that he does not intend to absolve the utilities of their responsibility to operate safely and protect the public. But, he insisted, the current legal framework which confronts utilities with liabilities they claim threatens them with bankruptcy is unsustainable. Now more than ever, Californians depend on reliable electrical power to heat and cool homes, run hospitals and fire stations and so much more, Governor Brown told the state Senate and state assembly co-chairs of a legislative conference committee on wildfire preparedness and response. Yet, the increasingly destructive and costly wildfires and natural disasters have the potential to undermine the system, leaving our energy sector in a state of weakness at a time when it should be making even greater investments in safety. The governor's plan if it were considered a loan wouldn't free PG&E of its financial responsibilities in connection with last fall's Northern California wildfires, estimated to have caused more than $9 billion in damages. Nothing in this proposal changes any liability for the 2017 wildfires, Governor Brown wrote to the lawmakers on Tuesday. However, the proposed legislation would deliver a victory for PG&E and other utilities by shifting the future cost burden of strict liabilities that power companies now face under a legal theory known as inverse condemnation. That legal approach currently holds utilities and their shareholders liable if their equipment was a factor in causing a wildfire or other disaster, even if the utility properly conducted maintenance and facilities upgrades. For victims, the governor's plan is a non-starter, said Patrick McCallum, co-chair of Up From the Ashes, a coalition of North Bay wildfire victims. It sacrifices the rights of property owners to protect the utilities from any responsibility for future damages they may cause, and removes any real incentives for them to take safety and fire prevention seriously.